Hi, I'm Eli, and I'm doing the electrolysis of water. The electrolysis of water is splitting hydrogen and oxygen away. We can do that. We can do this by putting them in salt water because it, the salt will help it go faster. It's a conductor and with wires, a battery. See the wires? Here's the battery. And nails for the end of the wires to put in. We'll have them at the end, inside here, as you can see, to, to, to get, get the electricity out, with, through the salt to the other nail, and do a circuit, a closed one. We also will put some salt to, to conduct it. Tops, but we have balloons to show you that there's hydrogen. This is oxygen, that's hydrogen. The hydrogen isn't going in the head balloon right now. We have tape so it doesn't go on the outside of the of the on the outside of the bottles. Electrolysis um, H2O can be uh, written in three different ways. H2O HOH, because there's two hydrogens, or H2O1. That, there's three different ways. It's better to see it here, because it's foggy, our real one. Here's the battery, the positive and negative. It goes right into this, this water with a salt, and then it goes into the bottles, and in the bottles is hydrogen, Two and oxygen one. Well, that will happen after. At first, it's just water. After the electricity starts, it starts bubbling up mainly the hydrogen because it has more, and then it will it will turn into into the gases. It's hard to see, but we can tell which one causing of the positive only go, makes oxygen and negative only makes um, hydrogen. Also. You can see over here the oxygen is more full of water and the hydrogen is less. That's because hydrogen has two parts in, in water and well, oxygen only has one. That's true for ours, our experiment also. This is, the, this is the material we have for the electrolysis of water. We have an aquarium or you can use a big soda bottle. We have two bottles to catch it in the hydrogen and oxygen. We have a battery to, f to use it. And then we have electrical cable or wires, copper wires. We have nail nails at the end of the wires to let it go out. And we have the salt to conduct it faster. It is a lot, you can do it without salt, but it's much more slower. This is salt that we once again use in it. Here's the battery that we use. This is a jet ski 12 volt battery. It is, the one, it is used to make the electricity for the electrolysis. The bottles create areas for hydrogen and oxygen to go in. The wires are the places where the electricity travels through. The um, nails are where the electricity comes out into the water. You can see the bubbles out of this hydrogen tank right here. This is the hydrogen tank. It is much more active than the oxygen tank because there's two hydrogens in water and one in and one and oxygen. So it goes much faster. All the bubbles is the hydrogen going to the top of the bubble. And if we had much more, it would go into this balloon, but it doesn't seem to be wanting to at the moment. Hydrogen and oxygen and electrolysis can be used for many transportation and other skills, such as space shuttles. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for main engine start, main engine start, 2, 1, booster ignition, 
and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Space shuttles to lift off use hydrogen. I think they use electrolysis to blast off also. Also, you can make cars. All you do is have a big tank of water and then it goes and it goes through and makes electrolysis. The oxygen goes away, the hydrogen goes into the engine and it meets back with the oxygen, makes more water and does a circle again. Also, you can use it for purifying of metals. Hydrogen is found in, in the universe, is the most common. It is about 75% of the universe, but it can never be found alone, pure hydrogen in nature. It can only be found with other things in nature, but with electrolysis you can have pure hydrogen. Hydrogen is a much cleaner fuel. It is much, It will help the global warming. It is much better than oil and other fuels, even electricity. So we should always, we should use electrolysis to make hydrogen for our cars and all of our machines today.